Okay, here we are again at the road in Guarne with the last races. The relay race for the men, which was actually supposed to be, take place yesterday, but as the rain spoiled it all, we took the Friday morning uh, for the race. Uh, we're going to start right away. Scott is here, Scott Ardish, and also Younger, you're there. Scott, maybe you can present the uh, teams that we have here. Uh, for sure, the favorite will be Colombia, but after that, it's pretty much anyone's race. Also, yesterday, the big upset without USA and Joey Mantilla qualifying for the final. Um, but as a relay, anything can happen. With Power Slide, we have Kaylin Dobbin racing for New Zealand, and Fabio Francolini, Matteo, and Mobili racing for Italy. So there's a lot of Power Slide skaters in there also. Jan, what do you think? Who is very strong in this, in this relay final? I think your, uh, Scott is right. Colombia is probably the favorite one, but behind them, I think it's probably going to be between uh, New Zealand and Italy for the second place. But we have to, to watch uh, Bar because probably he's going to be the fastest one in the last lap. And uh, even though he's not pushing the first position, he's able to pass uh, in the last lap. So, so I think the podium should be Colombia, New Zealand, and then for the third place should be between uh, Italy and Belgium. Why well, we never know. Also, France can be good. We saw it on the track. They got third. They were not among the favorite, but uh, they still make it to the podium. So we have to see what's going to happen in the last laps. Okay, so they just started. We are seeing in France, France. first. France in first. Who are the French skaters that are skating? It's Ewan Fernandez relaying the first. I think then he's going to push Thomas Boucher. And uh, the last one is going to be Pelokan, the, the French sprinter. Okay. Um, okay, here they pass. It's Kalen Dobbin in second spot. Uh, maybe we can talk a little bit about Kalen Dobbin. He went into Worlds and he wasn't looking too good, I think. He didn't even make it to the 300 meter finals, but going into the uh, races, he, he always got better. He almost made the final on the 500 meter on the track. And then yesterday he got a silver medal on the 500. How is he looking right now? Yeah, I mean, Kalen, he's, he's very experienced. He's yeah, for sure the most experienced skater at these world championships. And uh, coming into Worlds, he wasn't bad, but he suffered a crash in the, in the last World Cup of the season. So that affected his preparation. But uh, his 500 yesterday showed how how experience can sometimes win over youth. So, and I also too, uh, together with the rest of the New Zealand team, we came here very early to get used to the altitude, and I think we're seeing that now. We're we're recovering quite well. Okay, so Scott, you actually got a bronze medal uh, on the points race. Uh, New Zealand, we would think it's a small country. So why are you not in the relay team? Uh, the points race actually took a lot of energy out of me and um, I actually did the heat of the relay yesterday to let Kalen rest for the 500 final. Um, I had to be honest with the guys, I mean I didn't want to say yes, 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 I'm good and then uh, not deliver because we actually have Rion K in there at the moment who has, hasn't raced very much so he's actually in very good condition right now. Okay, so we're seeing that Colombia is actually staying on the back of the pack is this a strategy you think so no, i don't think so i think they're struggling to to go to the front there's it's a really tricky course but yeah now we can see that si fuentes is oh, oh that's a lot of pushing yeah there. he's fighting with the italian guy but now it's not so easy to pass on this circuit it's a really tricky one and uh, that's why it's going to be an interesting race in the last laps or a big big fold from the french guy grabbing so i think there might be some teams disqualified in the last lap Okay, so we're seeing New Zealand all the time in front. Do you think this eats up energy? Or uh, do you just think that it's actually a more comfortable way of skating? Uh, yes and no. Like, it's not too bad in the front here because there's so many corners and there's a lot of moving. So, there, the, of course, there's a draft, but it's not as big as on some of the other tracks. Oh, what happened to Colombia? They're way they on the back. Drop. They got dropped because I think uh, Cifuentes did not push. Uh, Paris, I think they just shake their hands, so that's why they're behind. But with Munoz, they have this fastest guy, so even though they are not first in the last lap, they can still make it. Okay, but Munoz will have to sprint against Kalen, right? Yeah, he's doing it now, he's trying to pass. Okay, there he comes on the outside, yeah. Andres Munoz. Oh, yeah. I think the, oh, problem, the problem for Belgium is that Bart is really, really strong, but he's a little bit too nice in the pack. He's never fighting, so that might be a problem for them. Okay, so Munoz set it straight in one uh, race. Uh, it seems Ferris Spruit crashed. Ferris Spruit from Belgium crashed. Okay, so that makes it difficult for uh, Ferris. Uh, what impression are you getting, Scott? Are we still with the same favorites? Colombia is looking strong now. Kevin Dobbin, Ooh. then Italy. Bart, go! Ferris stop! Ferris stop! 
Okay, there was Jan who was actually screaming to Bart that he should go to the front because Bart Swings will actually now be a team of two because uh, Belgium will not have any relay because Ferris Broad crashed. So that actually takes him out of the medal chance. Is that right, Scott? Yeah, it's always tough with two because uh, you actually have to skate through and not get a relay change. Uh, but still, he's defending himself very well. Uh, this yeah. is Bart's brother, Martin Swings. How many so laps to go? It should be like six or seven laps. Okay, we can't see that, sorry. It's four laps to go now. It's four laps to go. So, of course, the Belgian guy is getting tired now. Yeah. New Zealand is looking very good, but also Colombia. So we'll come down to a showdown between Andres Munoz and Kevin Dobbin. Yeah, uh, actually, Peter Michael, I think, is finishing for New Zealand. Okay. Yeah, Peter Michael. Okay, so is he just as fast as Kevin, you think? Uh, maybe a little bit slower, but what where they will make it up is Kalen gives a very, very big push. So okay, this is so important in the last lap. Okay, so Peter Michael seems to be defending himself very well on the front. In third, we still have France, uh, France and Italy is also still in there. So probably for the medals, those four teams Whoa, will big, be fine. Big, right? big fall from the Venezuelan guy in the last corner. He pushed, pushed over the Italian team. Okay, so here he goes, Kalen Dobbin. He's probably looking to go full now. Yeah, he goes full. So are we going to the bell right now? No, no. I think Bart is going to do the last three laps. So it should be really hard for him. If he makes it to the podium, he's super strong. Okay, so there's a warning for Venezuela right now. Okay, there's only two laps to go. So it's not Kalen who's going to push Peter Michael. It's going to be Ray and K, right? Yeah, Ray and K. Okay, here they come. Okay, it's Colombia in front with Ray and K just behind them. Scott, who's going to win it? And of course, I hope New Zealand. But do you think so? Yes. I, think, I think New Zealand can make it. Peter Michael is fast. And if he gets a good push, he can still make it. And look at that, Venezuela made it up to the third position. And actually, France and Italy are stuck behind But I think Venezuela Bart. has good road racers. They are, they've been racing the marathons the last three, four years, so I think they're, they're quite good. Okay, so it's clearly going to be Colombia against New Zealand. Is Peter Michael going to be able to follow oh. Munoz? Ooh, oh. Venezuela is coming close to Peter Michael, actually. Oh, but now he can... Yeah, yeah, and I think for the third place, France is going to make it because the Venezuelan, girl, the Venezuelan guy looks really tired. Okay, here we go into the last turn. Last, last what's, corner. What's going to happen? It's Colombia against Peter Michael. Peter Michael for New Zealand or Andres Munoz. It's Peter Michael for New Zealand who passed Andres Munoz. This is incredible. Scott, congratulations. Yeah, that was a very, very incredible finish from, from Peter. Really incredible. Yeah, okay. because passing Andres Munoz in the last last lap is not so easy so it looked like he was getting up speed already in that corner to the right he was just getting closer and now he just won that's a big surprise that's a goal for Kalen Dobbin as well so he'll be happy yeah another goal for Kalen it's a really incredible finish for the guys okay so that actually wraps up the road racing here tomorrow we're going to do the marathon and that's it can we get some uh well i'm not going to ask scott because we know that scott wants to be in the mix himself so jan can you please tell us who's going to win the marathon I think there is like five, six guys being the favorite for the race. I would put a coin on Joey Mantilla. He's been really frustrated the last days. He's not been winning any race on the road. And uh, he's really fast. Okay. But, but we have also really, really strong guys. I think Scott, uh, we, along Bart, Fabio and Diego Rosero will be the, the strongest guys. So it's going to be a good race. Okay, and France just got a bronze, so you'll be happy as well, right? Yeah, it's a, I think it's a good reason for France. They made a medal in both relays. They were not the favorite, and uh, I think it's a quite young team, so for the future, it's pretty good reason for them to get a bronze today. Okay, thanks, Scott. Thanks, Jan. See you we tomorrow. See each other tomorrow. tomorrow.